of the Israeli attack. Um, the, 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 the mission was aid to Gaza, um, but the message was that aid to Gaza via Israel doesn't work. That's why we were taking it directly to Gaza. That's why it was so important for us to resist um, going to Israel. Um, we, we, we couldn't. We could have. We did foresee some some issues and some possible danger, but um, I don't think anyone any one of us foresaw the amount of blood that was going to be spilled. And I mean, an analogy that, that one of us um, came up with kind of by mistake was when he saw a soldier slipping over on some blood on the decks. And this is what we think Israel is doing now. They've spilled so much blood that they're just going to slip over on it and the world can see that. And what are your thoughts? Obviously, the ship behind you, the Rachel Corrie, uh, peacefully, albeit, was boarded um, and, and people were coming back. Yeah. What are your thoughts um, on that? My thoughts are that it's up to the captain of, of that ship to decide what they would like to do. If they didn't want to resist, then that's up to them. However, as I said, the message was that we can't go via Israel to deliver humanitarian aid because it's not working. The last four years have shown that. The, a quarter of the amount of aid that is required in Gaza gets through that way. They take out things that they don't want the uh, Gazan people to have. The cement that's on the Rachel Curry won't get through. The paper may not get through. Uh, these are items that are banned. Um, I mean, to, to, to restrict paper to a population that's more than 50% children um, in, and that the impact on their education, I, I can't understand the thinking. I mean, if you're going to complain about extremist politics and then create conditions that are most likely to, to create um, extremist views... Um, I, I just